Let's talk about the data science roadmap and how to learn it smartly. Data science is a big field where you can learn a lot of things. Losing the focus can be easy. In this video, I will talk about what to learn for data science and your priorities. Let's go. The first one is a programming language and you have two options, Python and R. And as Python is my favorite, I would suggest you to go with Python. And why you need a programming language? Basically, it will be the foundation for your projects. You can handle data, you can clean it, transform it, and you can use it for machine learning. And you can focus on a few packets such like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib and Seaborn. And to do this, there are two great books that I can recommend and leave the link below. One it is for Python only, and the other one is for data analysis with Python. And then we have math, where you should learn statistics and linear algebra. And why? Because these are the foundations for most algorithms, and you also need these to analyze data properly. But don't worry, start with the basics, are very easy to understand, and then with time, keep climbing on complexity and at the same time try to apply it in Python. And there is a great book for that, Practical Statistics for Data Scientists. This is a great book to learn statistics and apply it in Python and R. Now, let's talk about data visualization. Data visualization is a very important component for a data scientist's work, because it is with visualization that we interpret data, we analyze data, it helps a lot, and we also communicate with visualizations. At the first phase, I think you should only focus on package. For Python, you have matplotlib and seedborn that I already mentioned, and ggplot for R. And why? Because at the first phase, it's very important you can practice more Python or R. And with this package, you can do whatever visualizations you need. So focus on learning what visualization should you do for each type of data and how to interpret those visualizations. These are very important topics. Okay, now the next big thing, machine learning. After learning this, you come to a point where you are ready for the next phase, because now you can handle data, cleaning it, transforming it, and analyze it. But wait, machine learning is a very broad field. In the first phase, you should only focus on the most basic and foundation things for machine learning. Learn how to differentiate several types of machine learning, and then you should learn how to prepare data for those types of machine learning. Not only how to prepare data, but also how to do the process to develop a model. And here you'll be learning a lot of scikit-learn, so write down that package because it is the most known and used package for machine learning with Python. And here, in the first phase, I think there are three types of machine learning projects that you should focus on. One of them is unsupervised learning with clustering, and the other two are classification and regression within the supervising learning. Okay, moving further, data collection. So at the first phase, start by looking datasets online, such as Kaggle, Data Hub, and some GitHub repositories. Because here we'll find the most basic and known datasets and also another datasets that are small and that are great to learn. And now, before completing the first phase of the roadmap of data science, you should learn an IDE. So you have a few options, for R you have RStudio and for Python you have Jupyter Notebooks and PyCharm, as well as Google Colab. I personally use Jupyter Notebook, but it's okay any of those. So, now talking about a second phase of your roadmap, you need to start spending more time in learning more tools and more ways of work. So, for data visualization, it's very important that you learn a tool such as Power BI or Tableau. And you don't need to learn both, so it's very easy to learn each one of them, but the main thing for data visualization is not learning tools, is learning how to present data. So this is very important. So you should learn one of these tools. I personally learn Power BI and it is the one that I use the most. And after learning the tool, you should focus on learning the best practice for data visualization. So in machine learning, now we have more complex stuff, such for example as deep learning. So deep learning is a field within machine learning but it has a lot of new concepts that you need to learn, such as neural networks and the several types of neural networks that there is. And here you have computer vision and natural language processing. But you should only focus on this after learning everything that I mentioned already. And now, data collection. For data collection, there are more things that you should learn. For example, SQL, it is very important to learn for a professional perspective because in an academic or 
in your own projects, you won't use it too much. Then you have also web scrapping, which you can get data from web. This is a, a very great tool for, for a few projects. So it is a nice to have and nice to know. And you also need to learn how to connect to APIs. For example, you can connect to Twitter and get some specific tweets for, uh, for example, a natural language processing project. So guys, general tips that are also very important. So deploy a model, you can leave it to the end. So it's not very important how to deploy or learn how to deploy a model in the beginning of your learning. You can use a lot of tools such as AWS, Azure. You can also do it with Flask and learn it, of course and you can leave it to the end. Now, a few important considerations. So one of them is critical thinking. While learning and looking at data, you need to think really what is in there. You need to interpret it and try to analyze it in order to get good information. A second advice is to learn GitHub and save your projects and code there. It has two let's say positive side. The first one is that almost every company use it. And the second one is that you can use it as a portfolio. So save there every project that you've done in your roadmap. And it is very important to have a big picture because you can focus your learning and learning in a very structured way. And the final tip, probably the most important one is that your learning path is not a sprint. Your learning path is a marathon. So you don't need to rush. Keep learning at your own pace and learn a few things every week or every month and try to use for example, books. Books are a great resources and then complement your learning from the books with things from, for example, videos. Because videos sometimes are a lot more interesting, of course, but books, I think they are the foundation because they are very good and they usually explain very well what you need to learn and usually they also have code examples. And if you have any doubts, if you are a little bit lost in your learning path, leave a comment below, I'll try to help. Okay? Cheers, bye.